Hi folks, I'm Chris Marshall with Woodworkers Journal Magazine. You know, plywood and other sheet materials will always be helpful for woodworking, and in the case of projects like these cabinets, they're really indispensable. The challenge, especially in a small shop situation, is how do you store those big 4x8 sheets and all the cutoff pieces that are left over after your project is done. There's this option storing them long ways on edge where they take up eight feet of wall space or usually end up standing in front of other tools and supplies interrupting your workflow. Or you can store them on end. It takes half the amount of wall space, but there's always this danger. And that can damage your materials, or worse yet, you. Well, we think we've come up with a better solution to either of those two options here and we're calling it Swing Out Panel Storage. It's our February 2014 print issue Small Shop Journal project. And essentially, it's a long, narrow cart. It stands out from the wall about 16 inches, and it's just under five feet long. But if the cart were freestanding, it wouldn't be stable. So we've mounted one end to a wall stud with a pivot bracket that you can make from ordinary hardware. And on the other end of the cart, there are two fixed four-inch casters that allow you to roll the cart out easily for access to either side. On one side, there's a long bin for storing cutoffs. And on the other side of the project, there's an open bin for storing full-size 4x8 sheet goods on end. For safety, we've incorporated a couple of pegs that fit into a series of holes that you can lock into place to make sure your plywood is always upright and secure. And the pegs are chained to the project so they're always within easy reach when you're loading and unloading supplies. And speaking of safety, you don't want the cart rolling back and forth when you're trying to load or unload a 100-pound sheet of MDF. So we've incorporated some brakes over the casters. They're just large push-action clamps that you can activate by foot and they raise the casters just far enough off the floor to immobilize the project. They'll park this cart right where you want it and give you just the amount of braking force you need. So there you have it. Convenient, secure sheet goods storage and about as compact a package as you'll find. All wrapped up in a project that's fun to build. Look for the material list, measure drawings, and step-by-step -step instructions in your February 2014 print issue. Hope you enjoyed building the project. Thanks for watching.